Now, the Idaho New 6 forecast. Welcome back. I'm Geneva Zoltek here with your full extended forecast and our weather headlines today. We have some mild temperatures throughout the weekend hitting the mid 60s by the hard, hottest part of the day throughout the valleys and a little bit colder up there in our mountains. But we also have some weak instability. I'm sure you notice those rolling clouds up there in the sky. That's because we have some cold air in the upper levels of our atmosphere mixing with that warm air near the earth and that's creating some active weather conditions, especially in our high Higher elevation. So we are actually seeing some precipitation. Now high temperatures today, they were pretty good. 66 degrees in Mountain Home. Boise also saw 67 degrees. We had 70 over there in Ontario, but it really looks to be this stretch of I-84. So those temperatures hit the mid 60s. Now, of course, in McCall, a little bit cooler up there, 49 degrees. Now tomorrow, our temperatures going to warm up a little bit, though not super significantly. 68 degrees tomorrow in Boise, so pushing 70. So that's going to be a nice day tomorrow. 64 in Baker City. And then McCall will, re will uh, gain about 10 degrees, 57 degrees as they're high up there tomorrow. So definitely a little bit warmer. And we are seeing a warming trend now for the next 10 we're in the next six days or so we are seeing those temperatures slowly increase until next Thursday when we get even there close to 88 degrees. Now our normal temperatures for this time of year it's around 71 to 73 degrees. So when we hit that 88 degrees that is well above normal, but then we will dip down again below normal. So we're just continuing this roller coaster of spring weather here in southern Idaho. Now, as you can see from the entire northwest corner of the United States, there is quite a lot of scattered activity going on. Uh, throughout the region and that is impacting us here at home when we see those clouds up there and sometimes they're raining sometimes they're not that's because it's just that instability now we are seeing some isolated uh, conditions of showers even thunderstorms throughout the evening um, above mountain home right now it looks like and then some wind and that's set to continue through tomorrow very similar conditions, except maybe a little bit more wind and a little less cloud cover tomorrow. Now overnight temperatures are going to be 43 tonight in Boise, partly cloudy and same with Twin Falls. We're going to have partly cloudy and might even see some isolated thunderstorms. We've got a 35 chance of precipitation tonight. And that is because of that instability again, especially at night when that warm and cold air mixes. But again, as a precursor tomorrow to tomorrow, that clever cloud cover is set to stick around. But we have warmer temperatures tomorrow, 69 degrees in Cuna and the West Central Mountains. We're still going to see a little precipitation, 63 degrees in Idaho City. Long Valley is check it out. We're going to get a little bit hotter tomorrow, 57 tomorrow, a 20% chance of precipitation, 51 degrees tomorrow in Stanley and a 20% chance of precipitation there as well. And if we go down to Magic Valley, we are still going to see that 60 degree temperatures as our high 66 degrees in Gooding, 64 in Twin Falls, 64 in Shoshone, and then 61 in Burley. Now, as you can see, we will have a little bit of wind as an offshoot of that low pressure and high pressure, creating that instability over southern Idaho. And that's creating those conditions again for those isolated showers, those rolling clouds, and a little bit of precipitation that we've been seeing. And in Magic Valley this evening, there is that chance of thunderstorm. So do be wary if you are going out tonight for some rain and thunderstorm conditions.